Hi, my name is Jennifer Stevens. I'm the academic advisor at the University of Kentucky College of Public Health. It's my pleasure to welcome you to UK and more specifically, the College of Public Health. I'm originally from Elizabethtown, Kentucky, which is about an hour and a half southwest of Lexington. I have my bachelor's degree in marketing and finance from UK, as well as my master's degree in higher education. I've been with the College of Public Health since January of 2017. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what you can expect from your experience in the College of Public Health, as well as go over what is public health, what information uh, should you know about the college, and then what are the degree requirements for the Bachelor of Public Health program? So let's get started. First of all, what is public health? It promotes and protects the health of people and communities through prevention, promotion of healthy lifestyles, and research for disease and injury prevention. Instead of focusing on individuals, the focus is on entire populations. And so this is an example of some of the things that you can do within the field of public health. It's not an exhaustive list, but it gives you some ideas of things that you might not necessarily think of. For example, jogging trails and bike paths, vaccinations, seat belts, elderly services. These are all examples of public health. Within the College of Public Health, you will study each of these areas. Gerontology is the study of people as they age. Epidemiology are our disease detectives. So these are the people who are studying where diseases are coming from and how they're spreading. You'll also take classes in environmental health, health analytics, health policy, health behavior, and global health. So the Bachelor of Public Health program is a very broad program that allows you to get an uh, expertise in each of these areas. More specifically, what can you do with a Bachelor of Public Health? Well, you could go directly into a career or you could go to more advanced study. Our graduates have done both. And these are just some examples of the areas that you could go into. Specifically at the UK College of Public Health, we have a Master of Public Health and a Master of Health Administration. You could also go into a professional program such as medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, physician assistant, law or veterinary medicine. If you want to go into a career, you could start as a restaurant inspector. So those are the people who go in to make sure that you're eating in a safe and healthy environment. You could be an epidemiologist. So those people who are helping to track the spread of diseases. You could work in occupational health and safety, making sure that our workplaces are safe. So the field of public health is very broad and gives you a lot of options of what you can do in the future. I wanna take a minute to let you know about our accelerated BPH MPH program. This allows you to complete the Bachelor of Public Health and the Master of Public Health in five years rather than six. One of the advantages is that during that final year, you get to take 12 hours of graduate coursework, but you pay undergraduate tuition. So it saves you time and it saves you money. Now this program is selective, and so you would need a 3.2 cumulative GPA and a 3.5 major GPA, which is anything in the CPH BST or GRN prefix classes. But you don't have to apply for this until your junior year or the spring of uh, the year prior to when you want to start the program. So it gives you some time to build up that GPA and to take those courses. A little bit more information about the college. We were started in 2004 and the Bachelor of Public Health program started in 2014. So we are one of the youngest colleges on UK's campus. We do have undergraduate, master's, and doctoral programs. And within our undergraduate program specifically, we have about 280 students. So it really gives you that advantage of having that small college feel with the resources that a large university has to offer. One of those resources is the Interprofessional Healthcare Residential College. 
This is a living learning program that's in the Woodland Glen complex that allows students with a healthcare interest to live and take classes together. So this is a great opportunity to get to know students in other majors who have an interest in healthcare. Academic advisors, people like myself, are here to help you plan your educational program and monitor your progress toward those goals. And so we do this through meetings each semester, and I'm there to connect you to campus resources. But I also maintain confidentiality per university and federal guidelines. And so this next visual is there to show you how I can connect you to different resources on campus. So I might not be an expert in education abroad, but we have people on campus who are. So if that's something that's interesting to you, I can connect you to those resources. Can also connect you to leadership and service activities, career services through our Stuck at Career Center on campus, financial aid and student accounts, as well as academic support. So if you need some tutoring or extra help with your homework, I can connect you to those resources as well. So if you ever have any questions, you can always go to your academic advisor and we can point you in the right direction. So talking about the degree requirements, what do you need to do to graduate with a Bachelor of Public Health? The first thing is you need to complete 120 hours. And this might sound like a lot, but when we break it down, it's very manageable. And so first you're gonna start off in some pre-major courses and UK core courses. And so the UK course, the general education requirements that every student must complete to graduate with a degree from UK. We have 18 hours of pre-major courses that are required for you to move up in our curriculum. And among those, five of those six classes count for the general education requirements. So you're able to complete pre-major classes at the same time that you complete your UK core. Outside of the UK core and pre-major, we have other major required courses within the public health curriculum. So these are 27 hours that every student in the college has to take. The remaining classes are flexible. And so you get to choose within certain parameters classes that are interesting to you. And so those come from public health electives, natural science electives, social science electives, and free electives. More specifically, Free electives are any class that is interesting to you that you wanna to take to fulfill that 120 hour requirement. And so this allows you to tailor the curriculum to your interests. You could complete a double major, a minor, a certificate, or you could work toward a professional program. Often programs such as medicine, pharmacy, PA, dentistry, among others, they require a certain set of prerequisite coursework that you have to take before you apply. And so the free electives that are built into the Bachelor of Public Health program allow you to take those prerequisites and it not add time to degree completion. So it is possible to complete the Bachelor of Public Health and the prerequisites for professional school in four years. And so you're going to get a schedule uh, at your CBLU conference. After CBLU, though, if you have any scheduled changes, I just ask that you contact me so that we can make sure that you're making the right choice to change those classes around. Definitely, you want to check your UK email because that's how we will communicate with you important information that's going on. And then we also would like you to fo follow us on social media. And so we have a Facebook account, Twitter, and Instagram. So you're welcome to follow us on any or all of those platforms. So I appreciate you joining me today so that I could tell you a little bit more about the College of Public Health. I look forward to working with you when you're on campus in August.